So what will I cover in this webinar? I'll go through the requirements of presenting a winding up petition and where I refer to a winding up petition. It will be uh, noted down as WUP. I will also go through the various procedural stages between the presentation of a winding up petition and a winding up order being made. And where I refer to a winding up order, it will be WUO. I'll also talk about what happens uh, with the costs of presenting a winding up petition. Uh, what happens after a winding up order is made and also uh, talk about right at the end how to restore and wind up a company that has been dissolved. So at this point, uh, after you've served the statutory demand, it, it is often the case that you will get um, a letter from, from the company or they've instructed solicitors and they say, um, stop, the debt is disputed. If you um, don't... Uh, confirm that you you won't present a winding up petition, uh, we will make an application for an injunction to restrain, restrain you from presenting a winding up petition. Um, so this is one of the two ways in which a statutory demand can be dealt with. So previously I spoke about how you can pay the debt within 21 days. The other alternative is for the company to make an application for an injunction to restrain you uh, from presenting a winding up petition against it. And that is usually on the grounds that uh, the debt is disputed. So what can happen at the winding up hearing? Uh, the winding up hearing, um, the court can make a winding up order provided that you've complied with all the steps. Court can uh, adjourn the hearing on the basis of non-compliance or that it is opposed, the petitioning uh, sorry, the company might have filed a notice of opposition. Um, they can dismiss the uh, the petition, and that is with or without an order of costs. And that, that might be because um, the uh, petitioning creditor has either been paid their debt, uh, including costs, or they've been paid their debt, but they've not been uh, paid their costs. Uh, in which case they will ask for dismissal of the petition, but that the court order that the company pay their costs of the petition. Or um, it might be that um, it's dismissed because the petition creditor has um, agreed or, or has been forced to agree that there is a dispute of the debt um, in, in order not to uh, risk take the risk of going ahead, has agreed to uh, seek the dismissal of the petition. Um, alternatively, there could be a substitution order made, and that basically I will come on to, but where the um, petitioning creditor, for example, might have been paid, and there is another creditor that wants to take over carriage of the petition 